Hi, my name is Leon. I am a rising senior in Brown University's PLME program. And in this video, I'm going to be going into full detail on my PLME application. So I will talk about my experiences, my stats, my essays, and all the other factors that went into this application. So you might be asking, why is a student making a college admissions video three years after he was admitted, and why does he still care about that stuff? The main reason is I recently rediscovered a college confidential admissions profile I made right after I was accepted my senior year of high school. And I didn't actually end up posting it. I think I wanted to make one because I was really obsessed with college confidential at that time. I was kind of a scrub who cared too much about the college admissions process. But I also wanted to see how my own profile matched up with other people who were accepted into PLME. And you know, if it really was a fluke or if I was actually a good candidate. So I'm putting out a video regarding this document now with the hopes that by sharing my experiences, I can help other people in the process. I think this is much better than leaving the document on my hard drive and having no one ending up seeing it. Again, this is just to give you an idea of something that could work. It's not necessarily representative of what's needed to get into Brown's PLME program. So without further ado, here is my application and let's get started. On the top we have our decision. My SAT was 1570. You can just read this, you can read. These are my stats. Okay, good, let's move on. Let's talk about my APs. So I got fives on most of my AP exams. Funny thing is I got four on psychology and biology, which arguably are the most important for medicine. It's probably because I took them senior year, spring of senior year and I was just really out of it. I was already accepted into college. I just didn't want to put any more effort into taking more exams. And yeah, I mean, it still worked out because Brown takes fours for biology credit. So I was all good with that. Okay, let's move on. So senior year course load, pretty heavy, obviously. Uh, I just try to like take as many APs as possible. It's kind of toxic, but I guess it ended up working for me. Okay, and uh, before we move on, INSTAR is like a uh, way for the school to encourage students to find research mentors and pursue their own research projects and mentor them in submissions to research competitions, none of which I ended up winning. All right, major awards, nothing too special here, kind of just a standard. Uh, if you ask anyone I might go to school with right now, probably more than half of them have these stats, so nothing too special. Let's move on to extracurriculars. So I did a lot of running. I did cross country, indoor track, outdoor track. I was a team leader, kind of a team captain. I helped with warm ups, kind of lead the team, uh, mentor the freshmen, things like that. I was a sports editor for the school newspaper and that kind of worked out because I was able to interview people on my team and feature them in a newspaper, which was pretty cool. And I did varsity science bowl my senior year. That was kind of just for fun. I don't even know if I put it on my application. Job experience, I didn't work at all during high school. I kind of regret not working because, I don't know, it would have been nice to like make money and develop some form of financial independence. Volunteer, I volunteered in the OR and in the pre-surgical department at my local hospital. I did over 200 hours and it was pretty enjoyable. I, I think I got to learn a lot about what medicine's actually like. You don't really know what it's like until you're in the environment for extended periods of time. Let's see, summer activities. Okay, let's start with my sophomore year. Summer, I was a secretary at a primary care office through family connections, and I also washed dishes at a sleepaway camp, I believe. Summer after junior year, I did research at Stony Brook and uh, Columbia, and I shadowed in the OR. Also did some volunteering. Essays. I shared most, I think all, I, I shared all of these essays and videos prior, so please, watch my videos. But these are my ratings for them. If you watch my videos, you'll obviously know what it's about. I just read out the essay word for word for you. So please watch. Okay, let's move on. So for Brown essays, there's, oops. So you have to talk about an extracurricular that you did. I talk about writing for the newspaper, preaching diversity, yada, yada, yada. Area of study. I talked about how I want to major in biophysics because I loved physics and biology. I actually didn't know what biophysics was. I just enjoyed physics and biology so I can bend them together into biophysics, but I ended up doing biomedical engineering because it's much more applied and I just enjoy stuff like that. 
uh, sort of why Brown I talked about, I thought this was pretty powerful because I talked about how Brown was a direct contrast to high school where everyone was competing for these college positions, GPAs, extracurriculars, while at Brown it was more like okay we're trying to help each other succeed and everyone has their own goals. In a way it's a win-win situation where everyone can excel in what they're doing without being at the expense of other people. The last two, I didn't make videos reading them. Basically, it's like, tell us where you live and your life experience. I talked about, you know, being a kid, having to move back to China because my parents were so busy. Um, they were fresh immigrants in the United States and then coming back and being here for the rest of my life. As for community, I talked about my local church community that I grew up in and how I witnessed um, the good deeds being done by members of the community and how I really admired that. and. It taught me a lot about like empathy, being a good person, having love for others. My recommendations, so I submitted three recommendations. Two of them were from teachers in STEM, and one of them was from my guidance counselor, who I love, by the way. She was the greatest. First one was physics. The teacher liked me a lot. I, I was like one of the top students in the class. I would meet with him after school and I'd talk about exams, labs, so I was just interested in the stuff, and I thought that was pretty cool. So I think he wrote me a pretty good letter. Again, I didn't read any of these because I would be compromising integrity. So I can only guess what it was like, but I have to assume that it was pretty good. Second rec was calculus. I had this teacher for two years in a row because I took BC and then multivariable. So yeah, I think that was a good time frame to get to know him and develop that relationship. I also did well in his class. A counselor rec, probably 10 out of 10 because she was great. I started meeting with her regularly since starting 10th grade. So we really had the relationship going and she was really invested in me and really cared. You could tell like during our meeting, she really cared about my future and where I ended up. So, so thank you. I'm not gonna mention her name, but thank you. I really appreciate what you did for me. So I only submitted three recs, so no additional rec. Um, as for interview, I interviewed with a Alum from Brown, obviously. He worked at Stony Brook, which is the local university, and he mentioned to me in a follow-up email that he said I was mature, a good candidate, and I think it went pretty well. He was a very chill guy with a background in medicine, and we were able to develop some connections through common interests and you know just being in this community. I'm going too fast. If you want me to clarify anything, comment below, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. You can read all of these, right? Okay, let's move on. So let's talk about my strengths. I think my extracurriculars are pretty well-rounded. I like to focus most of my time and effort into a few endeavors that I really cared about and really excel in them, which I think I did. I had good stats, but good stats is kind of just a gateway into being considered. It's not really a deal breaker in any way. Probably most importantly, I spent good time on my essays and I had a unique story to tell. Again, watch my videos about my college essays, but I thought that for Polimi especially, my Why Medicine and Why Polimi essays really stood out and I was able to combine my previous experiences with medicine and connect that with what I wanted to do in the future. Weaknesses. I was an Asian male in STEM. And so yeah, I'm not going to elaborate too much on that, but basically Asian males are um, not highly favored by college admissions committees. Also, my, my stuff was like really STEM focused too, so when I was applying, I was kind of scared that I was going to be, I don't want to say like discriminated against, but like at a disadvantage. And then I also didn't have any major awards or talents. You can argue about the talents. Why do you think you were accepted, deferred, or rejected? Yeah, honestly, like, I was rejected by so many, here, there you go, go ahead, read all that. I was rejected by so many colleges early on in the process, and it just made me really sad, because obviously I put a lot of effort into my applications, and it's just like, nope, 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 but eventually it worked out. So yeah, the thing with this stuff is that you never know what's going to happen, and you can only hope for the best, and wait not stress too much because stress doesn't get you anywhere even though it's really hard not to do it at the time so yeah 
so before I was accepted into Brown PLME, my top choice was this program in New York City called Brooklyn College. It was one of those four plus four combined medical programs. And it was state funded, meaning if I went, I would pay pennies compared to what I'm paying now for my education. And I would be admitted into medical school without having to really apply as a regular applicant. But the thing about that place was like the quality obviously wasn't as good and prestige. Obviously I'm paying thousands of dollars for that Ivy League brand, you know? So it wasn't there. Obviously I would have been pretty grateful to have gone there and it wasn't a bad program by any means, but you know, I always thought that I could do better. And so it ended up happening and I'm just grateful to be in the position I'm in now. So that real quick and condensed is my Pliny application. Hopefully that was helpful in some way. And again, try not to stress too much about the process. Just do what you can and hope for the best. That's kind of what I did. I never expected that I would get into this program, but here I am. So take your shot and I wish the best for you. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, obviously, if you have any other questions. Subscribe to my channel for more content regarding Brown, college life, um, things not related to college admissions. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon in another video and good luck.